Renee ran into the gas station to get her a Diet Mountain Dew. Just stopped and got some gas. We're leaving Albuquerque, headed towards the Petrified Forest, and then to Holbrook for the night. It's something that I really, I don't know, maybe my head's been under a rock for a long time. Well, I'll let you be the judge of that one. But uh, I just I always thought it'd be warm out here all the time. I thought like hot during the summertime and warm the rest of the year. But no, it is cold here and we're headed into some snow when we get to Flagstaff in that direction. Renee's back, I better get back to busy. Well, we found some snow and uh, we are, I guess about an hour outside of Albuquerque headed west towards Gallup and we are about, uh, about 90 miles to the east of Gallup, New Mexico. And uh, I don't know, the petrified forest might be a white petrified forest. We'll find out in a little bit. This is definitely a painted park. As you look out over the Painted Desert, you are only seeing a small portion of it. The Painted Desert extends over 7,500 miles across northeastern Arizona. Because Petrified Forest National Park lies at its heart, the entire park contains the colorful rocks of the Painted Desert. All of the colors that you see are caused by the iron in the sediments. During deposition, drier climates allow the minerals to be exposed to oxygen, rusting the iron and creating red, brown, and orange colors. Wetter climates can drown the sediments, allowing a little or no contact with oxygen, causing the layers to be blue, gray, and purple. It is a very windy day, and you see several birds that are just riding the wind waves. <laughs> it is so cool. And every once in a while, there are snowflakes, hail.
we are at the petrified forest and we're just about petrified ourselves because it is 35 degrees outside or so Mr. Subaru says, but it's hailing and it the wind is blowing very hard and I don't think I've ever been so cold in my life, but it is very pretty. It says it feels like 28. Renee said that the iPhone says that it feels like 28. It feels like about negative 28 to me. Petrified Forest is the only national park in the country with a portion of historic Route 66 within its boundaries. This stretch of Route 66 was open from 1926 until 1958 and was the primary way that millions of travelers initially experienced Petrified Forest and the Painted Desert. Imagine driving to this spot in the 1932 Studebaker that we see here, back when this road was in its heyday. If you can imagine folks traveling on Route 66 back in the 1920s, there were facilities along the way there around the Petrified Forest where you could stop. There was like there was one that was like a roadside zoo that had lions in it. Of course, these businesses are now gone. One of them was back in 1953. There was a tower that was built on private land and you could climb the tower so that you could get a good view of Route 66 and the surrounding area. Unfortunately, that's gone too.
The Blue Mesa Trail is a walk into the heart of petrified forest badlands. As you descend from the Blue Mesa Basin, you take a walk back in time. Each colorful stripe that you pass represents years into the past. You can look for the sculptural talents of wind and water on the layers of sedimentary rock. Along the trail are signs that explain the processes that have changed and are still changing this landscape. The Blue Mesa Trail is a one-mile loop trail. What you're looking at here is petrified wood. Imagine what this forest looked like back in its day.
This is called the Agate Bridge. Water created Agate Bridge and probably will destroy it. The fossilized tree that now forms Agate Bridge grew in a lush subtropical forest many, many eons ago. When this tree died, it washed into a river and its quick burial by river sediments prevented decay. Volcanic ash dissolved in groundwater provided silica which reacted with the log and slowly crystallized it into quartz. Many, many years later, rivers and streams eroded massive layers of rock strata to expose this fossilized tree. Inevitably, water now carving this small gully under Agate Bridge will cause its collapse. The supportive concrete span constructed in 1917 is a tenuous attempt at preservation. At one of the visitor centers, you can see some of the fossils that they have dug up here in the park. Here at this visitor center, the petrified log that you're looking at is a polished section donated to the park in 1950 by the American Geographical Society in New York City. From 1931, you can see when Albert Einstein visited to see the giant logs. The giant logs trail is about a half of a mile loop trail. And while that's not much for walking any day, this day it was windy and cold, and so it was a little bit on the miserable side. Oh, but well worth it for the sights that you see. Walking where Albert Einstein walked, I feel smarter already. If you haven't already done so, do Jenny, Renee, and me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, share, and like our videos. We really appreciate it as you help us to grow our channel. Thank you so much for riding with us on this part of our journey as we looked at, visited, and experienced the Petrified Forest National Park. Renee has been wanting to do this for many years and I'm glad we did. It was really cool. All right, that's this episode of Gene and Renee Travel Adventures. We're headed on down the road. Thanks for joining us.